A very warm welcome to the Observes Now 8th edition of Education Leaders Conclave and Awards. Today we have with us Mr. Rohit from Leo 1 who is going to help us understand his point of view and how Leo 1 is helping the community to come together and support the students and families with the financial challenges of higher education. So could you just present your thoughts on this question? So basically uh, the way we Leo 1 as a company thought about this was we wanted to bridge access to quality education and financial restrictions are one of the largest ones. But we initially started with a loan provision, zero cost EMI. Our understanding is loan provision does help. But if you have to look at affordability, you still have to pay the loans back. Right? But can we as a community come together and create a fee reimbursement structure? So we started to think how can we as community support this? And this cracks in from the basic thought that an average household income, you typically spend 15 to 18 percent of that income in education of your child. Mm -hmm. But the remaining 80 percent plus, you're spending somewhere else. So wherever you are spending, the community is consuming. Can the community help you? Because you have given education to your child, then the community gives you a discount and help you recover those fees. So for example, if I have paid say 1 lakh rupee worth uh, fees of my child and now if I paid 1 lakh, Leo 1 will give you 1 lakh Leo 1 coins. As a parent, if I am going to consume on travel, make my trip, Zomato, Swiggy, mm -hmm. if I can consume this 1 lakh coins on those platforms, then I am able to recover the fees because I am okay. saving money there. So that was the thought we had. If we all together can come and contribute to this in different formats, we can actually make it more affordable. You don't have to take loan, fees are getting reimbursed through other spends. That's wonderful, sir. Also, I uh, wanted to understand how is Leo 1 helping with the cash flow irregularities of colleges and universities? So, it is linked to the first question. So, where what we are trying to do here is we are giving education credits to the students. So, if you are paying your fees before the due date, then you get your fee worth education credit. And you can consume those credits on different platforms to get a fee reimbursement. But this can happen only if you're paying your fees before the due date. So if your due date of fee payment says for us, 1st to 10 Jan, if you're paying your full year fees, not one semester, before that date, or you can also take a loan from us, in which case the college still gets the full year fees. So when the college is able to collect the full year fees from the student, we give students the credit. Right? So in order to receive the credit, the fee payment behavior of a student or the parent changes because they know if I am going to pay the full year fees, I am getting, getting the fee reimbursement. If I am going to pay after the fee payment date, then I will get nothing, no incentive. This way the collection habits improve and institutions working capital problem also goes away. Thank you so much. Sir. Also, uh, just wanted to add another question yeah. or probably just your thoughts. On uh, what do you think about the entire uh, you know event that, that has shaped up today? And uh, did you have any sort of interesting conversation with anyone? If you would like to share more about it. Yeah, definitely. See, the Observe Now definitely conducts a very good event, and we have an experience of working with them in the past as well. So, aggregating the education decision makers under one roof, where you get to have exchange of thoughts. You know, decisions can happen quick, and feedback also for companies like ours. When the owners themselves say whether this is useful or not, we get to know what we have to change. So today when I presented, there were a few owners who immediately caught me and I had to speak with them and they have told me to start as a pilot in one of their colleges. So we already, I think three to four of them have given us this contract. So this kind of generates business for us, but more importantly, it's a real-time feedback from the owners, right? And that will help us improve our business more. So getting the education influencers onto one under one roof is very useful for all of us. Thank you so much, Thanks, sir. Thank for you. Your Thank you so Thank much. You.